Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have missed you this week, but we went on our summer vacation. I'm sure if you've watched me, you know that every year at the end of the summer, um, before school starts, we go to Myrtle Beach and stay for almost a week. We stayed four nights and we have the best time. The kids, we take them to all the events and we went to Legends and we went to that upside down house. I think it's um, Wonder Works. Just did a lot of stuff like that and putt putt and all that. And then of course we do some shopping too. We do, we did a lot of back to school shopping for Brooke and Will not so much. He got some shoes and some different things like that, but um, he's not into clothes. <laughs> and um, John got some stuff, but, and of course I got some things. And I also got some things before I left. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my makeup first. And then I may do the clothes and everything in a separate video. I'm just going to see how it goes with time because I know some people just don't like to see that. So, um, first of all, went to Ulta before I left. I was getting my nails done and I picked up the Sesh Beat base coat and I needed the top coat. And I have gotten where I take that with me because I like the Sesh Beat better than what they use. If I just go with what they use, not, it never fails that I end up messing up my nails, but if I will take the sesh feet with me, I can keep, you know, my manicure good, at least till I get home. <laughs> so I got the base coat, and I've used it twice, and I like it. It's not thick. It's just normal. This. I'd been looking at this. I'd been wanting it, and when I went to Ulta, I had um, $20 off. So, and that was with getting this. I'm not sure if that was with getting it. I'm not sure how those points work, but I had five times the points. Anyway, I had $20 off, so I got this, and I'm real excited about it because another one of these, and I had been wanting this, but I knew you had to get the kit. This is very similar to the one I had on last Friday. I have on this today. It's also a good one for a Victoria's Secret look because it has the light bronzy look. It has the ivory color instead of white, and then the black which does have just a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but nothing, not like the MAC Sparkle one or anything like that. No sparkle, just a little bit of shimmer. I've got it all on today, and I also think this makes a great, not smoky, but a um, Victoria's Secret looking eye, and I just love it. I just can't say enough about these shadows, and I know you're tired of hearing about them, but in this kit came a, let's see, Mascara, it's the double-ended mascara with the primer and the mascara wand. I had not tried this, but it looks like a good one because that's the kind of wand that I like. And um, it came with a little double-ended brush that I gave to Brooke. It came with, um, let's see, I've got the primer in here. I have not tried the primer because I have been loving the Urban Decay Sin. That's been my favorite. I've been using that every day since I got it. And so that is totally worth the $36. Just for the eye primer and the eyeshadow, and then you get that little brush, and you get one of those, like the felt tip liner, kind of like was in the other kit. And I've already put that in my giveaway pile because I've got so many of those, and I really don't use those that much. So I think I'm probably gonna send that to um, Gina because she likes to use that for her uh, weaned liner. So totally worth $36. Love that little trio and I hope to do a tutorial with each one of these I just think that will be fun kind of like a little series and um, a lot of you have told me that you tried the Lorac for the first time since I have told you about it and you're really happy with it and I'm glad because um, it's really good really love these so then let's see I'm gonna go with a swap package that I got this week that is amazing and what is so great about it not to mention how much stuff there is, but everything is just awesome. The only bad thing is the things that I love, one of the things that I love the most is Lee Swatier. And if you are in the U.S., you can get that at Naimies.com, N-A-I-M-I-E-S.com. You should be able to get this. But it's from Liz, and you guys have heard me talk about her. Her YouTube name is Be Happy It's All Good. And I, we had done a swap before. And I had sent her just, I think, one of the 
Samantha Chapman brushes. Well, she wanted to try some more, so I went out and got her a couple of the sets and a few more little things, and I told her not to overdo it, just to get me anything, but not to overdo it, and she did. She said she couldn't help herself. And um, so, and a couple of you have asked me about the Samantha Chapman brushes and what did I think about them, and I have bought several of them to send to other people, but I've never bought any for myself because the ends of them are, I believe they're rubberized and they're not pointed, and I don't think that they will go down in my little glasses that I, I keep my brushes in like hurricane glasses and I like to be able to use a brush and just kind of slip it right back in the glass and I'm scared if I get those it's gonna not work well so that's the only reason I have it but I do think that they're nice everything I've heard and everybody I've sent them to they really like them okay back to what she sent me um, before she had sent me one of the uh, Lee Swatch A satellite bronzers and it was more of a blushy type tone and the one I had before the Soleil Doe was a light bronzer so she said she since I had two of the three she got me the third one and this is the Soleil Intense and I love it I've got it on today and you can see that it's got several different colors the center one is the bronziest one and then this is a peachy pink and then this is a just a tan and then this is a you know, vanilla type highlighter shade. None of them are shimmery, sparkly, but they do leave like a sheen on your skin. And so what I did is at first, I took my 138 and I swirled it around and I did my bronzer just like I always would. And it gave me a beautiful bronzy golden tone. And then I took the end of my brush and I dipped it just in the peachy pink and put just a little bit of color on my cheeks. And then I took another brush and went into the vanilla and did like a highlight on the tops of my cheeks and I love that it has that sheen to it but it's not shimmery because I just I think that that just makes my skin look muddy and older when I get too much shimmer going on my skin so love that Liz I love it love it love it and I recommend these they're great then she sent me this little Lee Swatche Vanilla Matte Shadow, love it. I used it all over today, all the way up to my brow for just an all over shadow. This would be a good one to start off with every day. Everything went on just beautifully over it and it was not, it says matte, but it's almost like a satin matte. It's not chalky at all and I love it. So I'm really tickled about those. Then I'm gonna save, I think one of the best things for last. She sent me a Quo, um, one of these lipstick gloss stick pencils, which I have gotten several of those. I haven't opened this one yet, but it's called Flare. It's going to be a good, um, looks like a rusty type color. This Smashbox lip gloss in Afterglow, which is a beautiful coral. And she, of course, sent me a letter explaining each thing. Some great samples, including one for John. And then this um, atomizer, one of the refillable... Um, for and it's airplane safe even though it's got 50 full sprays when full I have not been on a plane since before I had children John and I are we used to go places and he has gone you know on work on business but I haven't it's kind of scary now that I have kids and after 9-11 and just the different things so we like going we like staying close to home this is something I could not wait to tell you guys about she even put on her note, and let me see if I can okay, find she said, it. Um, people don't give, she said, this is worth every penny, and a lot of people don't give it time to work. It takes about 10 minutes before it starts to work. I said, don't put this over another color or it won't work. You have to put it on first. And then if you want to put this on, oh, then you can put it on top of another color. And it says, I love, love, love this stuff, and I can see why. I have also heard Lisa Eldridge talk about this. This is the Lip Fusion XL, and it's just clear. And I did exactly what she said. Today, before I even, I did not even put on any chapstick or anything. I just put this on, and it feels great. It feels just as good as any lip, lip gloss or anything. It feels just as good as chapstick. And I left it on the whole time that I was putting on my makeup. And then I used the Rockin' Republic gloss that... The other Liz sent me and then I used a little bit of spice lip liner 
but I don't know if you'll be able to tell how plumped up they are, but even the sides right here are the parts that, as I get older, are not as plump as they used to be. It's kind of like a balloon, you know, it just starts, you know, shriveling on the edges. You can see where it starts shriveling in, like on a balloon, and that's how this is. So right there, usually is not as full and it really filled that up and it did not sting a bit it's not that kind of plumper it's the kind that uses um the oh collagen advanced lip plumping three two times micro injected anyway it uses the hyaluronic acid i believe um it says collagen advanced lip plump two times um in the hyaluronic so it just it doesn't use the stinging method and I just really recommend this. It's the best lip plumper I've ever seen, definitely. So um, thank you so much, Liz. I really appreciate it, and um, I'm sure we'll be doing many more swaps and in the carrying future. carrying on, we have everyone home today, and it's chaotic. <laughs> so um, I cannot remember what I had told you guys. I guess I told you that we got to go to a Sephora, and we had a really nice lady helping us, and she really was helping Brooke a lot with um, trying to figure out a, I told her that Brooke wanted a lip gloss or a lip color, and so we tried several of those Too Faced little mood type, kind of like the O-Glow, and what it is, we didn't realize this until after we tried several, several things on Brooke, is Brooke has a lot of pigment in her lips, like all, you know, young girls do, and she watches these videos and she sees all the girls put on myth and everything else making their lips lighter so i didn't get that until we tried on several things and what we ended up the lady ended up getting her to like was the nars, the nars bell du jour pencil and i have the lipstick and i have never tried any of these pencils but it's awesome and so i ended up getting one for her and one for me because i knew we would both use it and if nothing else, this is a wonderful base. It's not as thick, dry, and opaque as Peach Stock, Myth, all of those. It's more of a, but it's not as glossy as my Clarins Nude or a lot of those colors. So it's a really good in-between, and I love it. I've used it. We used it. Matter of fact, her favorite combo, and you guys will appreciate this, is this with MAC Underage over it because it gives her that perfect light pink look that she's going for. And one of the colors that the lady tried on her was this. It's Blonde Venus, and it's a really pretty lipstick, and I ended up getting it, and it's, matter of fact, it would have been good with what I have on today because it is a, just a, let me swatch it for you. It's a really pretty nude, but it's got a little bit of, I'm not sure what, um, if it's a satin or what it is, but it's very natural. Just a little bit, not pink and not orange, just, and not tan, just kind of in between. And um, I'll wear it one day so you can see it on because it's really different. I really like it. It's um, different than anything that I could think of that I had, so I love that. And then... I also wanted to mention I went and got another Sephora 55 airbrush. This is just has become my favorite brush and I cannot imagine a day without this brush. So much that when I wash it and I really deep clean it, the next day when I want to use powder, you know, I have to be careful is it all the way dry. So I went ahead and bought another one. And I just wanted to address the fact that if you go looking for this brush and you see it sitting in the case like this, you're not going to, this doesn't do it justice. And um, so, here, let me try well, to take this off. Back. When you take this off, it does fluff up, and it is just a wonderful brush. I don't have any other brush that applies my mineral makeup like this does. There's something about the way it releases the powder onto your face that is different than any other brush. I can dip my brush in my Laura Mercier Minerals and do the entire side of my face with that one dip and that's because it distributes it r distributes it very evenly and easily so um, I just can't praise this brush enough and it's worth every every penny so I got a back up and I think that is all that I got from Sephora. 
you know, like I do every time we go to Myrtle Beach, I had to go to the CCOs. And if you are from another country or you don't know what a CCO is, I did a little mini tour of a CCO last time we went, I believe. And um, so I do have that video. You can just look it up in my videos. Or if I think about it, I will try to put the link down below. But there were several things that I was looking for that I did not find. Like I was looking for the Mac Plain Koi for Gina. They didn't have that. They didn't have Viva Glam 5. I've really been loving. I've fallen back in love with the Viva Glam 5. And Viva Glam 5 looks great with Estee Lauder Rose Amethyst over it, too. Um, I wanted maybe to stock up on some more of the Fix Plus, any of the scented ones. They didn't have that. But anyway, what they did have that I wanted was the Double Wear Eyeliner Estee Lauder in bronze. I saw Tammy using this. It's one of her favorites, and I always see her using this in videos, and it, it, it has the gorgeous smudger thing on the end, and I've already used it a couple of times, but it's a really pretty bronze. It's gorgeous, and it's real smooth, and it lasts really well, and it really, looks really good in the waterline, too. So I got that, and then a couple of things. This is something I got, and the name just jumped out at me and you guys will have to let me know it's Estee Lauder Crystal Baby and I think this may be the color that the Pixie Woo girls were just going on and on about how much they loved and we couldn't get here in the States and it's just a really pretty pink color I've worn this several times too and I love Estee Lauder lipsticks it's a really pretty glossy pink just very fresh just you know a light color and I love it and uh, actually I after I thought about that night, and I thought, you know, this might have been what they were talking about. I asked for it at the next CCO that we went to the next day, and they didn't have it. Same thing with this. I saw this, and I thought, hmm, this looks kind of interesting, and it's from the Venomous Villains collection, and it's called Innocence Beware. And that name just kind of stood out to me. I haven't been into MAC collections in the past year like I was before, so I'm not up on what's you know the best things but this is a beautiful lipstick it's a cream sheen I believe yes it's a cream sheen and it is a gorgeous nude it's not very um it's just like chapstick it's so creamy and you can see there's not a lot of color to it but that's what makes it even better it just is a great nude and it lasts for a long time so when I realized that this was a good one that night that I put it on. I asked for this at the other CCO and they didn't have it. So the ones that I got this from were the ones on, um, it was the CCO on Kings Highway, the first one that you get to, not the 501, in case any of you are close. This little eyeshadow, which is one of those little plaid ones, and it's, um, let's see, it's called A Wish Come True, and it's just a little pink one, one of those little plaid ones. And... Then Brooke really loves the NYX Jumbo Pencils and Shade Sticks, and we picked up these. And this one is a little bit too dark for her. It's the Warm and Cozy, but I'm going to use it. I haven't used it yet because it looks like it might be a good base to a lot of the things that I use or just might be good on its own for blue eyes, you know, the bronzy type look. And then this color looks really good on her, and it is the... Nurture, and it's a really pretty color too. So if you missed out on any of this stuff, that's what the CCO is so good for. Yeah, Nurture is really pretty. You can see it's a light color. It would be a good inner corner color. So that is what we got at the CCOs. Okay, and so I I'll think right that is it for the makeup and skincare, hair care, all that kind of stuff, anything like that. The rest is clothes and um, watches, jewelry, sunglasses, stuff like that. So I'm going to make that a separate video just in case I don't want it to be too long. And um, I'll probably do my outfit of the day in that one. So I'll be right back and I'll see you in part two.